Going viral today, a big promises, well, hopes from Elon Musk set out at Wednesday's Neuralink event. Musk says Neuralink's ready to start putting its brain implant into human patients within six months. The brain-computer interface aims at allowing a person with a debilitating condition to communicate via their thoughts. Musk said that Neuralink is also developing implants that can go into the spinal cord to possibly restore movement from paralysis. Bloomberg Sarah McBride covered the event for us. The event exciting, a classic Elon Musk on stage affair. Yep, it was a good one. What were the big takeaways? Well, for me, I thought it was very interesting that while the rest of us are still trying to just wrap our minds around implants in the brain, he's already thinking about upgrades. He spent a lot of time talking about how you wouldn't want just an iPhone 1 if you could have the latest version, right. and they're already thinking about if the first one doesn't work as well, get another one, get a third, get a fourth. I thought that was pretty We, we should point out, I guess, that Elon Musk has a track record of stating timelines and yes. goals and predicted dates that he doesn't meet. And actually, exactly. in the case of Neuralink, that's already true. Yes, it is. In fact, um, when he first started talking about Neuralink, he thought it would be in humans by now. He gave an interview in 2017 and said that by 2021 would be in patients, you know, wide adoption. And so that deadline has obviously slipped. And each year almost he gives another deadline that slips, which is probably motivating to his staff. There was a demonstration um, of a monkey, essentially, that was uh, the recipient of a Neuralink implant. And right. they sort of demonstrated the use of thought to translate that thought into a digital signal. And uh, it's astounding what they can do. The technology seems to be there. The biggest block to it being real appears to be the FDA. I'd say that's fair um, because other similar, uh, less advanced implants have gone into people in the past to treat things like epilepsy and Parkinson's. The FDA obviously really wants to make sure that these are safe, that they won't degrade over time in the brain. So they have a lot of questions and he seemed realistic about that. He did say the FDA had asked some tough questions. And that talks were progressing yes. well. Yes. Um, is Neuralink on its own in this field? I mean, are other people trying to do something similar? Right, actually there are a lot of companies that are working on different variations of this technology, including many founders from Neuralink who've gone on to start their I think they've companies. left the company and exactly. they- Exactly, there was a big founding team since the company's several years old, many of those people have moved on. They've started different companies. One uh, founder, Max Hodak, has this company, Science, that relies on the optical nerve for implants. There's another one, Precision Neuroscience in New York. And then there are some that don't have um, ties to Neuralink, such as Synchron, which right. uses your blood vessels to get And am implants. I right in thinking, very quickly, Elon Musk said that he would get an implant himself? He said that. He also said he would be happy to put one in one of his children. So. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Well, yes. this is also the man that said he wouldn't get on a SpaceX rocket until he was sure that he wouldn't die on impact on his way to Mars.